Progression 11, The Moments, is our second Phrygian progression. And this is C Phrygian, all right, so it's going to be a C minor based progression, which means we're in the key of A flat resolving to the three chord. Now this progression is pretty simple, however, I have used some nice widely spread slash chord voicings, and I think you're going to really dig this one. This especially is crying out for some nice guitar overdubs that you can create as well on the fly and then improvise over. So let's take a listen to C Phrygian, The Moments. So we're looking at C Phrygian now, so we're in the key of A flat, three chord being the C minor chord. Now the chords, let me just go through that for you really quick. So we've got C minor obviously being F3, and I'm playing a full C minor, not a C minor 7, because I felt that it had a bit of a darker feel to it. And what I'm doing is I'm playing the middle portion of the chord again, so the four middle strings. And then I'm plucking that top note, which is the G, the 5 in the chord. And then I'm pushing into this E flat chord. There's my E flat triad with an A flat bass. So I've got a 5 chord with the 1 in the bass, which is a really nice kind of slash chord sound, uh, reminiscent of, you know, things you'd hear by Steely Dan, etc. So. Okay, so we've got a 5 with the 1 in the bass, and then I push into our A flat chord, our A flat triad, if you like. So there would be an A, there's an A flat with the D flat bass. So we've got a 1 with the 4 in the bass. All right, so to recap on the chords, we've got our 3, 5 with a 1 in the bass, 1 with a 4 in the bass. Now look at let's look at the rhythmic properties of this. So I'm pushing into bar 2 on my second chord and sustaining that, okay? So I I'm anticipating bar 2 with this push. And then I'm pushing again into bar 3 on my A flat with the D flat bass. But then I'm adding some rhythmic variations in bar four as well. So let's hear that in context. All right, so. So I'm plucking my bass note. Then the upper voicing, you know, the triad, if you like. And then all of the notes together again. So bass note. So twice on the triad, and then all of the chords are the slash chord. So let me play that for you one more time. All right, and I've, I've actually varied that too, but watch what I'm doing, so. So that's basically it. It's a very simple rhythmic pattern, very simple chord progression. But what you might find is that the pushes prove to be a challenge. So pushing into or anticipating the next bar and holding down these slash chords, especially with this five fret stretch. And I'm, you, you know, some people might even be able to use their third finger, but the little finger works better for me and I can actually hit these. Now one of the challenges you might find is when you move to this chord from here, all right, you might find that your shape falls apart a little bit. So it might be a little tricky to begin with, but work at it and you'll, you'll find that you'll actually be able to hold these 
nice slash chords together. All right, so C, C minor, Phrygian, key of A flat, three chord being C minor.